Georgie. Mm -hmm. What? Trying to trade for Snickers? Uh, yeah. Last night was a little bit windy on the way up here, wouldn't you say, E? What? We're, are you two earbuds? Oh, no. man. Whew. We were about to he have... just plays it really loud. I do play it really How loud. How was yesterday, guys? <laughs> really windy. Uh, windy. We got eight, mi eight windy miles. Eight, eight, eight long miles in the wind. Yeah. Felt long. Taking an early morning break. June's called a break. It's been a little windy out there on the cliffs. I didn't take any video because daggum it was crazy. So we got some more climbing to do. How much, June? You checking? Yeah. Take off my shoes. Dry off my socks. Have a little snacky do. I don't know what is on the menu for today. I got some mango. A cliff bar, some Snickers. Ooh, I'm taking the Snickers, George. Toss that over here. Mostly the mango. Oh, the mango is so good. I'm sitting with Ado. Ado Potato. Yeah. We're on the side of this beautiful lake. We're waiting on June and Mom to make it in time for lunch. George, you just made it down to the water. But the water, the trail ends right into the water because the water's so high. Yes. So yesterday, we came off the highway. Mm-hmm. We Lincoln. went... We went about eight miles of like roly poly land and we spent the night in probably the best campsite we've had so far. Oh, it was great. Yeah. It was a big open field of like flowers and trees blocking the wind. Trees mostly. blocking the wind. They had been burned in a fire yeah. a long time ago, so all the brush was growing back up around them and stuff. Um, woke up this morning. Woke up. Intended to got start a, early. Got a late start. <laughs> it was cold. Started it was really about, windy. <laughs> what time do we start? Seven or eight? Georgie thinks seven. Seven. I think seven's about right. But yeah. it took us a long time to get here. Probably. This is ten of the weirdest miles. Like straight up and down on an exposed ridge with wind that would knock you over. Yeah. It does knock you over. How about that one fact. we were coming along? That one, the last ridge we were coming along when the wind was blowing toward the cliff? <laughs> Did that make you nervous? You know, know what I'm talking about? No. Oh, where I was, well, yeah, where there was like a skinny little portion and I was like, if I just go stand right over there, I'll tempt fate and get pushed <laughs> over the edge. I literally thought yeah, it'd be cool like, to go look over the edge and I was like, I'll die. Time for lunch. I'm thinking a long lunch. Long lunch. And maybe we'll go seven miles after lunch. There's a, there's a campsite seven miles after lunch. We do a short day. Okay. It's fine I with think, me. I think I mean, every, I everyone will be fine with that. How's yeah. your ankle? Aiden has an Achilles issue, by the way. I do. How's it it's going? Strained my Achilles. Um, it's, it's, it's okay. I haven't used my poles all day. Why? Which is probably bad. Is it hurting today? Yeah, I mean, it twinges. It doesn't. No. Oh. It, it's not an ache. It's a okay. stabbing pain okay. every now and then. But. Yay! Ethan's got a <laughs> knee injury. Oh, he does. His left knee's hurting him, so he was going slow. That's where we are. Injury report. I got a. Occasionally on the downhill, I got a sore left knee. Aiden's got an Achilles problem. Mom's feet were always watching. Georgie's feet are hurting. June's feet are hurting. And Ethan's got a knee. And Henry just won't listen to me. I told him, catch up to the girls and walk with them. And he walked the whole way. I may, we may be one short of our party after lunch. You never know. Yeah. I'm about, <laughs> I'm about fed up with it. I was mad too. Yeah. In bear country. We told him, don't go alone. This is the most bear. bear yeah, this is the most like this most been. bearish woods I've seen. <laughs> We're walking up high. Views, views all around. It's not a bad place to be. And this afternoon, the winds died down a little, and the sun has well comes out intermittently. Pretty awesome. We're coming up to our first big river crossing, uh -huh. the Dearborn River. We're a little nervous. Are you nervous? A little. Am I the only one nervous? No. You're nervous? 
mildly nervous. I'm mostly nervous about the cold. I don't think anybody's going to get hurt. Okay, nobody's <laughs> going to get hurt. It just sounds really cold. Well, we should be there in a few minutes. We, we uh, are so excited about this crossing. And Georgie especially. She's been crying all morning. This is our first look. Oh my gosh. What a mess. Oh shoot. Well, there goes my dry shoes. I don't know. Let me get out here and look. Come out here and look. Oh no, it's not too bad right here, guys. It's not waist deep. It's not waist deep. Let's do it here, and we can get to that log and hold the log going across. All right. Let's take off our stuff then. Yeah. Right down there. This is not going to be as impressive as I thought. Maybe. Look down there. It's shallow down there. You said it was a way down. Well, here's what I like about this. You see that log? You can reach that. Three people across can reach that. It's not. It's not. Come look at it. It's freezing all right. You can already tell. It's cold. So we got off trail a little. Missed a junction. Henry was behind. And he, he spotted it. He followed us a little way and then spotted it. Went back to the junction. Because he didn't know if he'd missed us. So he waited by the junction. And we crossed the stream way downstream. So right now, we're just... Wandering up through. Do you feel proud of yourself, Henry, for having figured it out when everybody else didn't? No. You I don't? I had to walk an extra mile here, so. <laughs> there it is. June, what is that? Chinese wall. Or China wall? I don't know what it's just called. Do we know yet? No. But China wall. There. It's beautiful. Why does the trail not go from right here to there? It's a good question, because we have to go to Benchmark Trailhead. I don't know. Hey, Georgie. It doesn't look like there's too much snow on it. Yeah, it's not too bad. We'll see when we get there. That's really cool. We are walking out to the trailhead that convinced Monica to come on this trip. You may remember it from such YouTube videos as the Bob Marshall Wilderness with the Browns. This sign right here. This is the one. That's it, right there, Monica. And here we are. <laughs> Benchmark trail at campground. We're doing a resupply out of the back of Dad's truck. Henry has a question. He's going to try to push for more food. Right? Can we have um, more bars? I said two per day. Plus the Snickers. Yeah. Final preparations. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. This thing is like 20 times heavier. Yeah. Yeah, we're full of six days of food right now, so yeah, everybody's a little heavier. So heavier. Hey, y'all want to? You want Hey. Y'all want to what? Y'all want to get around and pray together? That's a great idea. Mm -hmm. There's our there's our amazing trail support right here in this luxurious vehicle mm -hmm. that we jumped in this morning at 6:30 and <laughs> and we got some Browns. Hey, flower power, baby. We're joined at the benchmark. <laughs> Then that's Trailhead. We've been here before. We're back. We've been here before, right up by that sign. Yeah. Only Porter's here I this time. I haven't been here before. <laughs> June's ready. Are you? Yeah. Oh, it's too close to my face. <laughs> mm. All right. I'm walking with my June bug. We've got the Browns with us today, right, June? Yeah. And tonight, well yesterday we walked 15 miles with them. And a half. And a half. Today we're walking 13 point something with the Browns um, to a lake. And June, being the leader until tomorrow morning, has so far decided that we're not going any further than that. So we got two kind of relaxing days. Then we have to make it 77 miles in four days to um, Highway 2, where we will meet Grandpa. That's 320s and a 
Three twenties and a seventeen is what June's thinking. Through the spotted bear um, alternate or maybe route, I don't know. Spotted bear route, we'll say. Just don't want to get in trouble with Yogi. <laughs> so we'll go through the spotted bear route up to um, a portion of the CDT and finish it out. June, how are you feeling? Okay. Just okay? Yeah. Are you enjoying the hike yet? Yeah, a little. A little? You like having people with us? Yeah. Yeah. Favorite meal that you've eaten that mom's made? Um, spaghetti with meat sauce. Spaghetti with meat sauce. I think I think the food has been great so far. Especially when you put a little nutso in there and a little hot sauce. Ooh! We're here on the at the Chinese wall. Yes. It's really gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. It's different. When we were arguing about whether or not to come back, which I'm not sure we're we're actually finalized on. It's still early <laughs> in the game. Still arguing. <laughs> it's still were. early in the game and it's still pretty awful. And we have the moments of what the heck have we done? This is not a good idea. But last year when we were in a more, I would say, um, elevated conversation about it, I was really wanting to come back and do it. And we came here in September. And I think that was maybe the first time Monica started to feel like, okay. Maybe I can see it. Is that right? Um, yeah, well, you know, you're just getting out here, and I love it, so. Yeah, Monica loves this stuff. And she's good at it. But I still want my bear spray. She still, oh, yeah, yeah. She's a little nervous about the bear spray, so. I mean, you know, if Amazon did, like, like drone airdrops, maybe we could order one. And I did. <laughs> All right, we are in the Spotted Bear Wilderness Alternate. Having a good little walk so far. It's really pretty. It's the first time we've seen um, this kind of this kind of underbrush. It's really pretty fun. Total change after we've dropped over that pass there. Yeah, we see blueberry bushes everywhere, which can only mean wildlife. Yeah. Bears. Bears. So, this is a 29 or 26 or 27 or who knows how many mile section um, of this wilderness alternate that we then pop back onto the CDT proper and then walk down to walk up toward Marius, Marias Pass. We're hoping to run into somebody, some hiker, who can tell us that uh, the GNP can be done. But so far, everyone we've met has started at Marias Pass. So it's looking less and less likely that we'll get to do that. And here's the cabin. Pentagon Creek cabin. We're gonna sit on the porch and eat lunch. It was raining when we came in. We had a lovely lunch right here under this porch. Pretty cramped, really, when you take all your stuff out on it. But now we have Monica beautifying in the wilderness. <laughs> this is what she's Ooh, doing. Let me pluck my eyebrows. I can see it on the back she's, of your phone. <laughs> she's, she's plucking now her I can eyebrows. See. I was doing it blind, but. Oh, I can see. <laughs> Fantastic. Really good work, Monica. Thanks. Good work. All important stuff. We're sitting in a tent here on a cold morning. Slow morning. It's sprinkling outside. Raining once again. June and Georgie were the first people ready. That, first and last. That is a first. June's looking at the maps for the day. We're going into the trilobite range, or walking parallel to the trilobite range today. And then, I don't know, we're 50 some miles from town. Out here, windy, 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 miserable night. 
I slept great. <laughs> Georgie slept great. We had a busted tent from Henry and Aiden. They tore a, tore a, a tie off of it, and it's a big deal because it's right in the middle of the rain fly, so they'll get wet if it's raining. Tell us about your night, your day yesterday. Oh, okay, I'm in a little better place to talk about it than the last time he tried to film me, which was right after I fell in the stupid creek with all my stuff on my back. Um, so that happened. What else happened? I don't know, you cried a lot. I fell about seven times. <laughs> my balance was, that's excluding the fall in the river. Oh, I lost my bear spray yeah. in the river. Crossing, yeah. a, crossing a river on some logs. So, but the sun is looking like it's going to be out all day today. Yep, and we're getting out like 30 minutes earlier today. We've come from this way on the CDT. The CDT goes up that way. But one of the lay alternates says we can go this way and stay low. That's what we're going to try. Do you think it's going to work? We'll see. Do you think it's going to work? Maybe. Yes, let's go. Is it going to work? Yes. Alright, here we go. Off into the unknown. <laughs> 